Working Arts has been engaging marginalized youth, uh, pe young people rather, through the arts. A recent grant has given the program a big boost, meaning their valuable work can continue. Okay, so let's find out a little bit more about this. You can see Jim Lee standing by, getting ready to let us know what's happening. She's joining us from their base on Shaw Street. Good morning, G. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Jen. That's right. We are here at Sketch Working Arts inside the Movement Studio, where you're getting an idea of one of the uh, programs being offered here at Sketch Working Arts. Cianne, who is a movement specialist, getting some of the people here into the groove this morning. Good morning, Cianne. How are you? Great. We'll keep the music going. Let's go for it. So tell me a little bit more about your role here as a movement specialist and why it's so important to offer a program like this. Um, yes, it's so important to offer a role like this because, you know, homophobia, racism, and transphobia are really real issues that um, folks are facing. And so, and that really shows up in dance and a lot of art forms and sport. So it really pushes out a lot of LGBTQ, BIPOC youths access to it. So I'm here to kind of share different art forms and movement forms in a way that's like feels like people can be themselves and they're not like ostracized or pushed out. Yeah. So when you when you sit are in the movement studio, we're talking various forms of movement, right? Mm -hmm. So t uh, tell me a little bit about some of the programs. Yeah. So I have taught um, self-defense for queer and trans people and racialized folks. I've also taught like heels and sexy dancing. I've taught contemporary dance. I've mentored folks before they're gonna do their pride performances. So it's all sorts of like different programs yeah, that I've gotten to do here. Amazing, thank you so much. I'll let you get back to the class. And what I loved about what Cian was saying to the class, you dance from the heart. I love that. Karen here joins me now. She's from Community One. Um, tell me a little bit more about Community One and your involvement here. Community One is a uh, board run, volunteer run board that uh, works with 2SLGBTQ folks. And I'm the co-chair of uh, Rainbow Grants. And Rainbow Grants awards money every year to do SLGB to uh, to keep plus individuals. And this was our James Stewart winner. And it's so incredible to be here this morning and feel the vibes, the energy, and the love in the room. What spoke to the board members about Sketch Working Arts and, and giving this grant? The Allocations Committee came together. So they're a group of 10, 10 to 12 community members. This program stood out for folks. And they thought, this is where we want our the money to go this year with the James Stewart Award. So they unanimously decided on Sketch Working Arts. And here we are today. Okay. Thank you so much, Karen. So I'm going to join the, the class here. And we're going we're gonna to walk and we're going to move. Now, if you want more information about Sketch Working Arts, all you have to do is go to sketch.ca. Yes, we are here at Sketch Working Arts. We, we got a glimpse of their movement studio. They also have a kitchen. Uh, they have a silk screening room. I mean, just so many incredible programs and resources available here. And it's all because of a special grant given by Community One. I'm gonna bring in Karen Arthur to now with Community One. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about Community One and the evol involvement in terms of helping organizations like Sketch Working Arts? Sure, will do. Um, so Community One, I, I previously it was called the Gay and Lesbian Appeal. Mm -hmm. Started out with folks sitting in a living room looking at how do we begin to fundraise? How do we begin to support to us LGBTQ folks? That was in the 1980s. So we're now, um, you know, formed into Community One, which is a group of uh, volunteers that come together every month, um, working on a number of different initiatives and, you know, giving of their of their time and their energy. Um, probably about five years ago, um, I was asked to be part of the allocations committee for Rainbow Grants. And, um, you know, as we talked about previously, Rainbow Grants gives out money to uh, to us. TQ folks every year and last year we gave out $95,000. So starting with the allocations committee I then began to co-chair with Michael Schneider mm -hmm. and it's a phenomenal piece. We look at you know a number of applications um, from across the GTHA from folks 
um, you know, in the areas of health and, and social sciences, research, um, arts and culture, um, which is fitting for where we are right now. Yeah. Um, and the allocation committee really reviews every single application. Um, and we spend the day together going through all those applications and really kind of honing in on how is it going to support folks. Um, and this year, unanimously, um, Sketch Working Arts was the, the selected um, initiative. And um, as somebody who's worked with young people for over 25 years, you know, looking at, you know, the intersections of being a young pe person and being queer and trans and sometimes not having a safer place to go to. I know, you know, years ago when you know, Sketch was started, um, you know, it's a safer place for queer and trans youth. And it was so apparent to the committee that this was the initiative to fund for the James Stewart Award. Um, and here we are today, really showcasing the phenomenal work that, uh, that Sketch has done and continues to do. It really is an important initiative and it's so great that uh, the committee members from Community One uh, recognize all the hard work yes. here. So for more information on Community One, where can people go to? CommunityOne.ca. Okay, there you go. And for more information about Sketch, all you have to do is go to Sketch.ca. Oh, so many facets, so many programs, and it's really to support and provide resources for queer, trans, black, indigenous, and other racialized youth. I love the fact that many of it is done through art. We are here now in one of the studios, and joining me now is Julian Diaz. Diego, he is the creative director here at Sketch Working Arts. Hi. Hi. I love the arts. You're going to walk me through some silk screening. That's right. Okay, how do, how do we do this? Okay, well, silk screening is the first uh, arts practice that I came and did at Sketch, so I'm <laughs> always excited to share it. <laughs> We're going to get some of this lovely red ink, apply it. It's pretty fast and easy to do silk screening. Well, once you get all the prep stuff set up, it's yeah. quite uh, quick, but it does take a little bit of like uh, preparation all right. to get the screens ready. So uh, I'm going to walk you through this. Yes. You're going to keep the squeegee, it's called, uh, pretty upright, and then you're going to kind of pull it, push down, and pull it towards you. That's it. That's okay. it. You can take a couple swipes to make sure that you get full coverage, but okay. go for it. Let's see. And you really have to like press down there you go. and spread the paint out evenly, yeah. right? Beautiful. Excellent. That's looking good. Can do it one more. I feel like there's this one spot here. Oh, I think you're good. You were good? Yeah. Okay. Let's That's find it. Out. It's that simple. And then the finished product looks like Voila. Voila. Yep. So we need more paint, <laughs> right? Yeah, I think we need to hit a little bit more. To yes. It out. And maybe add a little bit more pressure. Ah. That's the key, right? There we go. <laughs> so, how long have you been working with Sketch Working Arts? Uh, I've been here like close to, perfect. there we go, uh, 19 years now. 19 years. Mm -hmm. See, that's perfect. Right? And then there's other prints here as well, right? Definitely. We've got all kinds of different screens that people can do. And one of the things I love about it is you might not even have a wall or yeah. access to a gallery, but a lot of us have shirts and stuff like that. So people can really get their messaging out there, become part of the larger conversation. Love it. Author. Thank you so much, Julian. Of course, you have so many people working here. You also have volunteers. We've got one right here. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Ehiku. Okay, and why was it so important for you to be um, helping out an important organization like this? I think it's important because Sketch has provided a lot of black and indigenous people like myself the opportunity to meet like-minded people and also explore ourselves through the power of arts and creativity. It's been very healing for me and it's been for a lot of us here as well. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate it. And look how credible the artwork here is. So if you want more information, all you have to do is go to sketch.ca. And of course, uh, this program uh, was uh, given a massive grant as well by Community One. And so for more information on that, go to communityone.ca. I love the fact that there are so many different programs and resources resources available for black, trans, indigenous, queer, and other racialized youth uh, that are really um, 
needing a, a safe place to come to. And this is an important program, uh, part of uh, Sketch Working Arts. It's the Wellness Program. Paulina joins me now to tell me a little bit more about this. So tell me about the Wellness Program and why is it so important? Yeah, so the Wellness Program is uh, one of the most foundational programs that we have here because before you can engage in any kind of arts activities, we want to make sure that you're fed, that you have transportation. Uh, we also have harm reduction um, and other programs that kind of get folks centered in the base before they can jump into any kind of arts production. So making sure that people are well before, like as a core human being, before we engage them in any other programs is really important for us. Oh, absolutely. And, and many of the participants that come in, they're either unhoused or facing poverty. And so this is really important to this. Yeah, it's a great place to get a meal as we are cooking. And our, and our meals are uh, freshly prepared um, with healthy ingredients. Because a lot of the times, you know, if you go to um, other places, you might get a lot of processed food. And so that's one thing that we are hoping to kind of not do here at Sketch. We want to make sure that everybody has the right to access healthy meals um, and healthy food for the body. Ken Natson has been working hard here. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? So tell me a little bit about what, what are we making and walk us through the ingredients. Um, so we're doing meatballs and we're doing ground beef and sometimes we also have like vegan options but right now we're just doing beef and mm -hmm. some uh, herbs mix, some garlic and onion and some spices uh, just to give a nice uh, healthy meal. As, as Paulina was saying, we don't want to give like pre-packed pre -packaged food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And meatballs are really easy to make, yeah. right? You could toss anything in there and it's pretty much Definitely. delicious no matter what. Yeah. Um, what is this that you're putting in there? Uh, right? This is uh, ground garlic, just garlic puree. Love it. And then you just mix it all together? Yeah. Definitely. And then it, it and then? It then it turns. and then it just became into uh, the meatball mix. Yes. And then you just scoop it up, Paulina, and, and then how long do we bake it for? Uh, it will be 10 to 15 minutes in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit. There you go. And Paulina, for if anybody wants more information on all the incredible programs here at Sketch, what do you, where can they go? Well, they can definitely go to sketch.ca, and there's lots of ways that you can get involved. You can donate. You can join our Project Home campaign, which is coming back out again next month. Um, or you can book a Nourish, uh, and you and your corporate team or organization can team build by making food for our programs. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We're all going to try the meatball dishes here. Uh, Karen is with Community One. Uh, once again, let's remind viewers at home a little bit about Community One and their involvement here. Community One, Andre Bograns has been supporting to us LGBTQ uh, community members for over 40 years. And here's the evidence of where our funding went to. Um, so a special thanks to CP24, to Sketch, um, and to Community One Rainbow Grants, because we really, um, it really takes all of us to kind of uh, be there. And um, you know, it's a labor of love. And for further information, community, um, community1.ca. Wonderful, and if you want information on Sketch, sketch.ca. Karen, let's dig in. Let's dig in. There's let's nothing like having meatballs for breakfast, <laughs> right? This will go really well with my coffee. Absolutely. There you go. Mmm, oh. so good. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.